Greetings from the Redeemed Christian Church of God in Oklahoma City. This is the Open Heavens for August 17th, 2019. Open Heavens is a daily devotional written by the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E.A. Adeboe. The title for today is Counting the Cost. Counting the Cost. And I pray that as we go into the study of His Word today, the Word of Life will come into our hearts and make us more and more like Him in Jesus' name. Amen. Counting the Cost. The memory verse is Luke chapter 14, verse 28, which reads, For which of you intended to build a tower, sitteth not down first, and counteth the cost, whether ye have sufficient to finish it? And the Bible reading is Hebrews chapter 11, verse 8 to verse 16, which reads, By faith Abraham obeyed, when he was called to go out to the place which he would receive as an inheritance. And he went out, not knowing where he was going. By faith he dwelt in a land of promise in a foreign country, dwelling in tents with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. For he waited for the city which has foundations, whose builder and maker is God. By faith, Sarah herself also received strength to conceive seed, and she bore a child when she was past the age, because she judged him faithful who had promised. Therefore, from one man, and him as good as dead, were born as many as the stars of the sky in the multitude, innumerable as the sand which is by the seashore. These all died in faith, not having received the promises, but having seen them afar off, were assured of them, embraced them, and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. For those who say such things declare plainly that they seek a homeland, and truly, if they had called to mind the country from which they had come out, they would have had opportunity to return. But now they desire a better that is a heavenly country. Therefore, God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he has prepared a city for them. May God bless the reading of his word in Jesus' name. Amen. Counting the cost is what we are looking at again today. And let's start with our perfect example, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. When Jesus decided to come to earth to die for the sins of the world, it was not an impulsive act. He carefully counted the cost of what it will cost him to accomplish this difficult task. So even Jesus Christ counted the cost. He looked at the fact that he will have to leave his throne in heaven and even here on earth, he will even have nowhere to lay his head. He knew that he will have to suffer the agony of rejection. He knew even from those that he, he, he saved, that, that he saved and healed and delivered. Those same people would have to cry, cry and shout, crucify him. He knew all of this. He knew the pain of becoming sin. He knew the cost of him hanging on the cross, being separated from the Father. That's not that great cost. But Jesus still chose to do all of this. Why? Because of the joy of our salvation that was set before him. Aren't we thankful we have such a wonderful Savior who counted the cost of all of this, but still came to die and redeem us? 
Oh, we bless the name of the Lord for that. And in line with that, the Holy Spirit is admonishing us also to count the cost of a task before undertaking it. We must not just go into things impulsively, even from the Bible reading and even from um, the memory verse. We know there's a place for counting the cost before we go ahead and do something. And that's what the Holy Priest is teaching us. From the Bible reading and from the memory verse, that is also teaching us two people in the Bible who counted the cost and they got the blessings and reward thereof. Of course, the first one which we read in Hebrews just now was about Abraham. He knew how to leave his native country. But despite all of that, he counted the cost and went on. And based off of that, he followed God's instructions and he followed through without looking back. Why? Because he has already counted the cost and he was going to go with God's instructions and his instructions alone. Another person, another set of people that daddy is teaching us today about those who counted the cost and stuck with it, what, they, what they were going to do without any fear of looking back was the four Hebrew boys. Shadrach, Mesach, Abednego, and of course Daniel. They counted the cost that they would not eat the king's delicacy. That's why they found that every other person would enjoy it. They counted the cost that it was not worth it. They knew that based on their actions, they were going to face the fairy furnace. Even in the case of Daniel specifically, he was going to face the lions then. But what happened? If they counted the cost and still went ahead to do what God has instructed them to do. And what happened? They all enjoyed the blessings. Both Abraham, both the four Hebrew boys, they enjoyed the blessings because they counted the cost and went forward with Jesus. They went forward with the Lord without looking back. So the good news for you and I, based on this, from these examples we, we've just seen, is that when we make up our minds, with a strong commitment to serve the Lord at all costs. What happens? It attracts great rewards from heaven. So when we choose to serve Him, no matter the cost, no matter the opposition, no matter the rejection, no matter the pain, no matter the suffering, of course all of that come at a cost. But when we choose to do that with a strong commitment, we are sure going to get great rewards from heaven so what should we do based on this we should of course make a commitment to serve god no matter what it takes and the lord will help us to do this in jesus name amen so the action point and we are going to turn to a prayer is talking about restating our firm commitment to the lord jesus christ and to the cause of the kingdom father we pray lord jesus oh god Today, O oh God, we restate our firm commitment to you, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. In any way, we have been sloppy with this commitment. Father, forgive us in Jesus' name, O oh God. From this day and forth, O so God, Father, we restate our firm commitment to you, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus and to the cause of your kingdom. We shall be firmly committed in Jesus' name. We are prayed. Amen. Thank you so much for watching. And we hope to see you tomorrow by God's grace.